um, tragically passed away early in the uh, early in the season. And um, you know, this one is for her and her family, right? That's the most important thing, honestly. What changed in the locker room or in the locker room was basically we said, look guys, you're better than this. It's time to perform, right? You either tuck your head between your legs or you get out there and you play. And they made the decision and uh, you saw what happened. Coach, how did you use that adversity and that message really throughout the entire season to inspire your team? You said it wasn't about how you started the season, but about how you finished. You had to do a lot to just make the tournament. How was that really an inspiration here? Yeah, man, it's um, the kids had a choice, man, to really step up. And uh, we changed some things with added, uh, you know, a kid that's a fifth year senior that never plays, but she's a great leader named her captain and honestly that's when it started to change so it's not about all the kids that get on the field and how many, many minutes you play when it comes to winning it, it takes everybody and that's that's proof thanks so much coach enjoy this one with your players appreciate it and as dj's on all memphis does is win the american conference championship casey the tigers are going back to the tourney and, and you heard coach monaghan there this one means a lot to him and to this program there's so many players that have stepped up and so they can really enjoy this one all right, make sure you join us on ESPN Plus. The uh, AAC Soccer Championship Award Ceremony Morgan will be down there. And of course, we will have plenty of post-match coverage. I want to thank Thomas Morrissey, Torian Pippins, Dean Bowling for being great in the control room here this afternoon. Once again, beats SMU in overtime. 1-0, the Tigers are headed back to the big dance. For Morgan 